Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Santa Teresa de Avila, Saint Teresa of Jesus. We are reminded by her words that God alone suffices. God alone is enough. Let us then receive God's immeasurable and overflowing love in this Mass. To prepare ourselves to receive this grace from Jesus, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, 
have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what can we say that Abraham found our ancestors according to the flesh? Indeed, if Abraham was justified and the basis of his works, he has reason to boast. But this was not so in the sight of God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. A worker's wage is credited not as a gift, but as something due. But when one does not work, yet believes in the one who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. So also, David declares the blessedness of the person to whom God credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not record. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guilt. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord and you took away the guilt of my sin. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you just. Exalt all you upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we commemorate today Santa Teresa de Avila, the saint who proclaimed in her mystical writings God's love, I will talk about this afternoon in my homily the immeasurability of God's love. Did I say that right now? <laughs> immeasurability of God's love. My dear brothers and sisters, do you measure love? When you love one person, for example, maybe some of you here are couples. When you love your husband, do you measure to him how much love you have given him? <laughs> or do you say, hanggang dito lang ang ibibigay ko sa'yo, ha? Ito lang ang pagmamahal ko. Hindi ko pupunuin. Do you measure love? For God... He loves without measure. Because if it is measurable, then it is not God. It is not love. This is very well explained to us in our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. St. Paul said in his letter that God credited grace and righteousness to Abraham as a gift freely without payment without measure because he said if it is measured then it becomes a wage it is your due no Saint Paul said Righteousness is credited to us freely because it is a gift from God. Ang pagmamahal daw ng Diyos sa atin ay libre, hindi sinusukat, hindi binibilang. Kasi sabi ni San Pablo, kapag binilang na ng Diyos yan, hindi na yan pagmamahal, sweldo na yan. That is why, for St. Paul, the love of God credits us righteousness not as a wage, but as a gift. Giving love to others 
is giving it as a gift without measure. In our gospel reading today, this is also repeated to us in the teaching of Jesus to his disciples. Jesus said to his disciples, it is as if, uh, if you look closely, Jesus is as if counting. He said, are not five sparrows sold for two coins? But do not be afraid. Even the hair on your head is already counted by God. What does Jesus mean? Does God really count the hairs on our head? No. It is not countable, in fact, for us. But Jesus is telling the disciples, you are worth more than your hair. You are worth more than the sparrows. In fact, God does not even measure your worth. God loves you immeasurably. Hindi masusukat ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa inyo at hindi tinitipid ng Diyos ang kanyang pagmamahal para sa atin. Ganyan magmahal ang Panginoon. Kaya nga sa salita natin sa Pilipino, sinasabi natin na sinusuklian mo ang pagmamahal. Tama po ba ako? Hindi natin sinasabing babayaran ko ang pagmamahal mo. Kasi kahit kailan, hindi mo mababayaran ang pagmamahal. Nasusuklian mo lang. Sapagkat hindi mo kailanman mabibilang, makukwenta ang pagmamahal. Ang Diyos, hindi tayo tinitipid sa pagmamahal. That is why Jesus was telling His disciples, do not be afraid. God's love is abundant always and overflowing for you. Huwag kayong matakot kahit kailan hindi tinitipid ng Diyos ang pagmamahal niya sa inyo. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the challenge for us. How can we respond to God's immeasurable love Paano natin susuklian ang pagmamahal ng Diyos? Mga kapatid, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Huwag din sana nating tipirin ang pagmamahal natin sa Diyos. For example, whenever you attend Mass, sana ko huwag niyo ring titipirin ang Diyos sa Misa. Ano ang ibig sabihin ko? Minsan, kapag sa misa, kapag sinabi kong, The Lord be with you, yung iba, tipid na tipid sa pagsagot. Parang binubulong lang, And with your spirit. O kaya minsan, kapag sumagot ng sa, sa pagdarasal, no? Forever and ever, Amen. No? Hindi ko naririnig yung Amen. No? Huwag yung tipirin ng Diyos. No? Minsan, tipid na tipid, kahit pagsagot sa misa. Minsan, nakikinig tayo sa loob ng misa, isang tenga lang ang nakikinig, no? isa tulog. No? <laughs> Sana kung paanong minahal tayo ng Diyos ng walang pagtitipid, ganun din ang pagmamahal natin sa Kanya. If God's love for us is immeasurable, then we should love Him also without measure. Give your all to God. That is how we can love God. I will not let this uh, celebration of the Mass uh, end without me mentioning uh, a classmate of mine, a priest. Yesterday, uh, we received a sad news that one of our batchmates in the seminary, who is a priest in Tarlac, he is assigned in Tarlac Cathedral. He passed away yesterday. Very untimely, 
death. Magkasing edad lang ho kami. Uh, we are the same age, the 35 years old. And it was really a surprise for us. He was Father Raymond Acuna from the Diocese of Tarlac. He, we fondly call him Father Lucky. And since yesterday, I have been seeing on my social media page a lot of posts about him. And there were a lot of posts about him celebrating Mass. And I was surprised. He was singing during his homily. Kumakanta pa siya sa loob ng kanyang homily. Sabi ko, Sorry, Father Lucky, ah. <laughs> Sabi ko, hindi na nahiya si Father Lucky, no? Ang lakas ng loob niya kumanta. Sabi ko, ang kapal ng mukha, no? Kumanta sa loob ng misa sa homily. Eh, pero ganyan ho talaga siya, no? Walang hiya ho talaga, no? But it is then I realized that maybe he would not like to measure how he loved God. Hindi niya laging tinitipid ang Diyos. Kung kailangan kumanta siya sa homily, kakanta siya. Kung kailangan magtrabaho siya ng ganito karami, magtatrabaho siya. Ganun kamahal niya ang Diyos. Hindi tinitipid. Even if he died at an early age, we know that it was a full life of ministry because he loved God immeasurably. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to the words of Santa Teresa de Avila. Do not fear, do not be afraid, because those who have God in their heart they will always lack nothing because God alone suffices. Wag mangamba, wag matakot. Kapag kasama mo ang Diyos, hinding hindi ka magkukulang, hinding hindi ka titipirin sapagkat ang Diyos pa lang ay sapat na. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray to our Father in heaven with complete trust so that free from all paralyzing fears, we may have the courage to build up his kingdom. For every petition, let us say, loving Father, cast out our fears. Loving Father, cast out our fears. The, that, that our church leaders may not be discouraged by the trials and challenge of renewal, but be more committed and zealous in bringing about change and conversion in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may be strengthened and sustained by their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That we Christians may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may experience the healing comfort of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That the faithful departed may reap the rewards of their labor. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Loving Father, cast out our fears. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of all times and seasons, give us courage and strength that we may persevere in doing good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Raymond, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of Saint Teresa and rejoice to sing of your mercies for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.